tau overflows. How does a master communes with an infant? How does a master communes with an infant? It is mysterious, mystical, difficult to put in the words. It happens. Each master uses different techniques. The basic I can explain to you. The lovingness, the energy flows that this child has to be taken care of. This child has to grow into its into his potentiality. For that the child is in a state of unconscious so it is kind of a darkness. So his awakening, his touch, his presence act as light, as awakening that goes into a very subtle form in the child, in an infant. Infant and little children respond to these things much faster than anyone else because firstly there is no mind developed as yet, there is no condition, there is no preconceived ideas, he is totally in a state of unconsciousness or subconscious. So this is deeper than your consciousness, conscious mind is very shallow, it is on the surface. So each seed, so just like a gardener plants a seed lovingly, very in a caring manner, he plants the seed in the womb of the earth, in the darkness. So subconscious is that state, that realm where the seed has to be planted. So for that one has to be aware that this is what I am going to do. Just as when you are making the tea, you are aware that you are making the tea and you have you know the process and everything happens accordingly and you had also asked one question tavachu it is one way it is i had always said there is a power that knows beyond our knowings it does not matter whether the person is a child or grown up or adult or or anything. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. Causeless force is that energy channel that communicates, that transports the energy between the two people. It is like your whole house in the beginning when it was constructed provided with the electrical channels for the current to flow. Current to flow in the elect in the entire house, each room and there are plug points, there are switches. For certain things you need plug points to use, certain things you need the electrical switches. So switch is the one that creates a connection between your the flow of the electric current and the bulb or anything else. If you have to put an appliance then you have to use the plug point. The moment the current is already flowing, the current is already flowing through the channels in the entire house and all you do, you turn on the switch and the moment switch is turned on, the current begins to reach to the place where it is needed and that gets illumined. So something like that, 
the current is already flowing between two people because that is a causeless force we are bound to each other by a causeless force this the your electrical switch and the bulb they are connected by a causeless force that is known as electricity electric current you have to so your focus you turn on the switch it's a focus and after that it gets illumined so that way the master gives the tawajjuh first seven years are very important for the growth of a child then the that time the child is vulnerable he has to be protected from all unwanted influences only then he will blossom into his natural potentiality a child is not a thing not a building he is like a tree yes you can help him you can prepare the soil you can fertilize the soil with more nutrients you can water you can watch the weather sun reaches the plant or not that is all but it is not that you are building the plant the potentiality is in the child in the seed form all you are trying to see that the proper environment is provided the energy field reaches the energy reaches through its channels the process of growth of the plant is natural and guided by its built-in program seed has a built-in program so each child has a built-in program that he comes with you have to realize the that this built-in program is not corrupted is not disturbed it allows to grow naturally so at that time the master can put certain things but he is capable of envisioning what this child is capable of and accordingly the he manages the program children are immense mysteries i have told you the moment you start building them up the moment you start creating patterns and characters around them you are imprisoning the child they will never be able to forgive you and this is the only way they will learn and they will do the same thing to their children because you as a person have a past each parent has a past child has a future so how are you connecting the two is your love is your understanding that bridges the pure past to the child's future you had the past experiences the child is total potentiality through your love through your understanding through your awakening you are bridging the two that is why this book life love and light is very significant each generation goes on giving its neurosis to the new person that comes in the child is is in the process of growing soon he will become a person and the society and the society persists with all madness and neurosis so when i used to lie down stay on the bed of sufi bridge mohan lal a master never sleeps body rests his consciousness is awake he communes through your subconscious and unconscious that's where the seed is planted your conscious mind is argumentative it's uh, it has the conditionings so it questions what you say so the best way of communication is through the subconscious and unconscious so you are doing your work what used to happen many times when my uncle sufi onkar nath will come from his work on saturday it was a half day so he is sitting by his desk to do some writing his letters and so so he is totally in 
he is a presence there he is not a person sitting but this is a presence so we used to go and sit down there when we sit down there for a while after that he will say go and do your work leave this here so this is how he is doing his work you are unconditionally without any preconditioning without any thought process or anything you are lying down the energy is flowing into you so that is how the master communicates and it happened when i was 8 months old so that night he has instructed my mother to pick me up from his bed at 3 o'clock so that particular day my mother fell asleep and she forgot to pick me up the bed he went into his intense transfer of the energy and i became unconscious and from then until 8 o'clock or from 3 until 8 o'clock i remain unconscious so sufis have a unique way he started telling my mother that you are so careless i told you to pick up the child by uh, 3 o'clock and you did not and see what is the condition of the child so when this was happening my mother began to cry then there was an elderly person who had the freedom to speak to sufi brij mohan lal the way he wanted he said my dear brother why are you getting angry with the girl you wanted to give something to the child you created the environment because of which she fell asleep and the child remained on you so forget about blaming the girl so then he became quiet so as time went on so the i am pointing out how the masters how i was trained one day i asked my grandmother so it was sufi brij mohan lal did something then my grandmother he said when he was going on 6th of january 1955 for his final journey to mumbai he told my mother that send he used to call me bhaiya send the child to your mother she will be alone so i spent most of my time with my grandmother after the passing samadhi of prishmohan lal so one day during this process i told her that nobody tells me anything to do all i am doing the regular work like cleaning the place for the meditation doing this lighting incense and so nobody tells me so her, she had a unique way she will not tell me in the morning um, the, when i ask the question she will wait for the time so in the evening when i am going she is going to rest i had the habit of massaging her feet before she goes to sleep or i go to sleep so that time she said you was complaining that nobody tells you anything to do your grandfather has given you everything so i said but i don't see anything given he said the things happen in a different way when a master gives he the he creates a, the word that she use which i understand he instills installs a program into you which will start working on its own as the time comes on and when the time come things will reveal themselves another question that i ask her what is my religion you all know we are born hindus we grew up uh, in the sufi environment she did not tell me that you are born hindu hinduism is the greatest religion the best of all the most ancient or the sufism nothing of that nature she told me wait until i tell you what she told me until i meet again tomorrow take care and do have a pleasant day